Vanessa, if you could be known for only one thing, what would that be? Oh, the best mom in the world. That's my, my biggest title, being a mom of five beautiful souls. Beautiful. And twins too, huh? And what's the greatest lesson in leadership you have learned as an entrepreneur? Um, being a leader is tough. You have to make sure that everybody feels heard okay, and feel considered in order to be successful. And what personal characteristic has been most pivotal to your success? Massive action and desire. And I would say desire and massive action. Crazy, mm -hmm. crazy desire for doing things that I just can't stop. <laughs> I will yeah, I probably I think we don't hear enough about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't hear yeah, enough about that. But then if you that, have that desire, if you don't have that, if you have that desire, but then you don't take the action and move toward that, then it's when people get frustrated because you don't get to do what you your soul and you really want to do. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I think if you do have true desire to do something, you will find a way. Uh, but at the same time, I'll play the devil's advocate for a moment. Uh, uh, Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. So for most people, unfortunately, I think they do need to be motivated by, you know, that they have to be pushed a little bit, unfortunately. But entrepreneurs are definitely a different breed. And uh, when one of us has that true desire, we do find a way. Well, anyway, I love, love Can this. Can I tell you something about try? Yes. Okay, oh. that's good. This is better okay. than my random question. We'll, we'll hold that for a moment. Yes. <laughs> try. Try. Every time someone tells me, use the word try, I'm trying to do this. Can I ask you, George? try to stand up yes yes exactly you either stand up or not there is no try you do it or not there is no like, oh i'm trying okay right now you just stand up so um i you do it or not that's my philosophy about try <laughs> yeah i love it okay good so then i appreciate it you have kind of both both uh, ends of the perspective there uh yoda was right uh, i don't think you get to be 800 years old without having a certain degree of wisdom I love that. <laughs> All right. So I've got some uh, random question cards. Just tell me when to stop cutting the deck. No. All right. Top cards. Oh, wow. <laughs> Usually this is something silly, but this time it's it's uh, significant. What is the biggest lie you told as a child? Oh, my God. Yeah, well, I can't believe mom... it. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, like, what is I the biggest lie the that deck. I said? <laughs> When I was a child, okay. Uh, oh my God. Well, my mom and my dad are not going to listen to this podcast. So I can say that when I was 15, when I was 15, I really wanted to go to this party uh, that the guy that I like was at that party, okay. And my mom was traveling. So I completely lied, my dad, okay. And I told him that I was studying okay, for such a long time. And the funny thing is that the funny thing is that my dad looked at me and said, please do not tell your mom. This never happened. <laughs> I love my dad. <laughs> he was so supportive. He passed away five years ago, but we have so sad. many great stories, great stories That's... with my dad. Yeah. Don't tell your mom. This never happened. <laughs> All right, I love it. Okay, now now we have to segue back to the uh, that was very deep, but now now back to the the serious uh, of of what is one tip or trick that investors can implement in their business today. Investors as passive investors or as oh, an well, active investor. Uh, uh, could be, but uh, thinking mainly from entrepreneurs, love to lean on your leadership experience. Uh, is there any any sort of tips you would have for entrepreneurs? Like, what can you do? Something that you could implement today that's going to improve your business? Well, marketing and innovation is the soul of any business. So if you are not in marketing, you need to be in marketing. And if you are not thinking about innovate, you have to think things of how to do things out of the box okay and that's when ai comes to play just use ai and trying to get some brainstorming okay, of how you can do it better and different than anybody else because otherwise there is no way that we can survive for the next five years 
Yeah, I love it. Marketing often underrated. Uh, best way I've heard it put is if Coca-Cola still has to remind you that they exist, everybody needs marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> All it right. is so well, of a business. Yeah, now I'm going to ask the question that, that you mentioned asking to the AI. Now I'm going to ask a human. Uh, can you name a book that's helped to forge you as a leader, entrepreneur, or investor? And tell us why. Wow, so many. But I already mentioned The Buy By Your Time by Dan Martell. Okay, That's mm -hmm. an awesome guidance. And what I love about that is that it gave me a guidance of how to work with my executive assistant. Okay, How to it. train her and how to think that differently it actually tells you how uh what is the name of the guy that owns virgin oh um, yes branson? richard branson richard branson he's telling you how richard branson's managed um, her assistant and we are not richard branson's but okay, it was great i love that and yeah. after that we have 10x is better than x that expand your your knowledge of how easier how better it is to go 10x instead of of 2x okay and the who not how is another classic um as well uh is three is good oh three <laughs> is is really actually two more than i expected i would like to just expound <laughs> on your first one uh because you did mention now for the second time uh buy back your time an outstanding book one of the things that strikes me about that book is the quality of the supporting material a lot of people get the idea that you you know you don't want to give away the secret sauce and you better read the book if you want to find out what's inside but if you go to his website uh, you'll see uh, it gives all these tips and tips and tricks planners uh summarizes the book for you and i think that that's really the mark of a very confident author there's so much more to find in the book and he knows that he knows mm -hmm. that uh you're not just going to read this uh, i think he gives you about a 20 20 page pdf summary uh, those are the really great authors, I think, the ones that really, uh, they're, they're willing to create that value so that you want to go down and, and get the book. Yes. How to buy back your and time. He's a huge, he's a huge advocate for AI as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Love it. All right. So now, uh, just a quick one. We talked about books, but now uh, in the shortest form, well, I was going to ask you to give us a quote to help forge our listeners as leaders and entrepreneurs, but you did just give us a quote from uh, right behind you. Do you have another that you'd like to send us out with? Oh, wow. Um, did I give you the one? I love the one from Tony Robbins. 80% um, of your success is psychology. 20% is mechanics. Mm -hmm. And Beautiful. I truly believe in that uh, your desire and your mindset is 80% respons responsible for your success. And then everything else is through the marketing, innovation, processes, and systems. But that's only 20%. Yeah, I couldn't agree more because even your mindset will even determine your skills over time. It's how quickly you learn. And one of the things that I like to highlight in my book, uh, that mindset really is everything because, you know, it determines how much you enjoy that success and you can have all the material in the world and if you don't have the right values the right mindset you won't enjoy it so i want to thank mm -hmm. you vanessa this has been an outstanding interview you shared so much about uh your personal approach to business uh your experience in business uh your experiences in leadership i want to thank you so warmly for taking the time to share your knowledge and experience with our audience just want to make sure everyone has the opportunity to reach out to you what is the best way to reach out to vanessa alfaro sure they can reach out uh, my website venuspartners.com mm -hmm. Uh, there is a contact form. There is a chat bot that can help you as well. Uh, if you want to talk to me or anyone on, on our team, you can go to the contact form. Um, we'll make sure that we book an appointment if you want to be a passive investor or um, like a potential partner with us. And also, I do have something very cool that I'm very passionate about, which is the AI teaching class. Okay, That is a free class. It's a free five-day five, um, five day challenge for people in real estate. So if you are interested, it's completely free. And it's, uh, the website is reaichallenge.com. Right, great. And yes, your assistant sent those out to us. We'll make sure those go into the show notes. Again, thank you so much. Thank you.